Hello Savage and anybody else watching this. Um, I know in the last video I mentioned that I wasn't going to bring up what happened between me and Vamp like four days ago. But I thought I'd bring it up anyway because it is pretty funny. And like I said, beware of my Xbox wanting to turn itself off. So if my Xbox goes off, it's just because it's being a douche. So anyway... What had happened, the full story, everything, I don't really like telling long stories, but it's sort of long. Well, it started off with free gold weekend, as you can tell I'm silver because my gold ran out like a week before the weekend came up. And uh, it's free gold weekend, so me and my friend Everest, who's at his nephew's house, the only reason why he's online, are playing some Halo Reach. And we're talking to Dragon in a party, and Dragon's on Skyrim. He gets off to play some Gears of War 3 with a buddy. And after talking to Dragon, you know, who's being good and polite for a change, leaves to go hang out with his buddy. About an hour or two later, I stop to see what Dragon's up to and notice he's on Reach. So when I join his party, I notice he's in a party with Vamp, who's a parent offline. They're in the middle of a game, so I asked them if it's alright if they can join uh, our game when they're done, and they suggest that we join theirs instead, once the match is over. So I'm waiting in a party, Everett is still back in the other party. I sent him an invite, but he never joins. Probably went on to matchmaking or something while waiting. So anyway, while I'm waiting, Dragon's getting mad and, you know, bitching about the enemy team and threatening to quit and Gary makes the remark you know that's what they're trying to get you to do and of course I commented back yeah and it looks like they're seeding at it you know being sarcastic Kurt Dragon bit my head off a little bit and I told him to calm down and take a break from the game and then Gary started sending Dragon messages and he denies it but I know he was and then he started telling Dragon that I was throwing him off his game and that I was trying to make him mad so he could lose. I was trying to get him to quit. Gary basically kept putting shit in Dragon's head and basically what happened was they both turned against me and well tried to kick me from the party but Dragon didn't have the balls to do it so he uh, left and Gary after I tried to talk to him and ask him why he did it he left. So you know Pissed about it, I removed Gary, thought it over for a while, and I got back at him by, you know, talking to Jeffrey after a day or two, because Jeffrey wouldn't even talk to me. Now, for those of you who don't know, I grew up with Jeffrey Dragon, so I know him personally. And Dragon, off his medication, is highly paranoid, easy to manipulate, and he's, he has problems. Now, Gary, Vampiric Loki, we don't know in person. We only know over Xbox. We know, uh, we know he lives in California, Modesto. But besides that, you know, that's all we know about him. He talks a lot of shit, but I've never seen him back it up. So, I don't know. Like, but the thing with, uh, Vamp is that he likes to start shit. So, that's the thing I've noticed with Vamp. And my way of getting Vamp back was I told Dragon what I believed that, you know, Vamp was pinning us against each other because shit like this has happened in the past with Vampire Loki. So basically I got Dragon to remove Vamp and then I got messages finally from Vamp because he wouldn't even talk to me after the whole incident. So after I got Dragon to remove Vamp, this is the first message. Uh, no, that's not the first message. Where is it? Oh, here it is, right here. I, it says, I just got up. Why did Dragon remove me? He's pretty upset about it. I did nothing or say nothing, so what the fuck was I being a good friend to Dragon? Then I told him, 
what I did. And that's just what you say. Well, I am sorry for that, but that is what it looks looked like. Again, called him on bullshit. I got a recording of us talking, and he admits to purposely having Dragon kick me for no absolute reason. Then he sent me a voice message, which you're probably not going to hear because... Yeah, well, you're not going to hear it because my volume on my TV is fucked up, so I'll have to play it on something else. But... I avoided them for about two or three days before re-adding them. That's a fake I'll do in. That's like one of my uh, fakes. I use it to mess with Dragon every now and then. <laughs> so that's it. That's uh, basically all that happened. I noticed with Vamp is that he acts all tough, but when him and Dragon get into a fight and they go a little while without being friends, Vamp leashes and he breaks. He wants to be friends with Dragon, so he'll do almost anything to get back on Dragon's friends list, because that's how desperate uh, Vampire Loki is. So the key to beating Vamp lies in uh, Dragon. I think that's pretty funny. So I'm going to end this video, and yeah, and Vamp, that's for pissing me the fuck off. You don't want videos of you on YouTube? I advise you not to piss me off in the future, because I can do far worse than this. Just saying, man.